Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video for you guys. I was actually at my friend Ryan's apartment yesterday. Um, I don't know when this video is going up, but Ryan has his own YouTube channel, which I will link up in the card for you guys. Uh, he is a man with the plans. And I brought my binder over and we were kind of looking at each other's planners and whatever. And I have been decorative planning for several years now. Actually, I started decorative planning when I started my YouTube channel. So what, like four or five years, something like that. And it's taken a long time for me to really understand my style and figure out what makes me happy. So we had a discussion about planner piece and if it's even achievable and and all of that stuff. So I wanted to kind of share with you guys my mentality of how I have gotten to the point where I feel like I have achieved the planner piece, the illustrious, elusive planner piece. So a lot of my journey with planning is centered around the Erin Condren products. I have tried several different things and what I keep going back to is simplicity. For me, I am not one of those people that can have four or five different planners it's too much for me. My brain doesn't work that way. I have a very simple life. I am single, no kids, no partner. I have a dog. Like, that's it. So I don't really have that much stuff to track or write down or whatever, you know. But there was a time where I was using a couple of different planners for different things, and now everything is in this planner. What I use now is the Erin Condren binder system, and I'm just gonna flip through and like talk to you guys while I'm flipping. Um, so yeah, but this has just been working really well for me. Oh, my little, my little dots are over here. Here we go. Um, I've done several videos on this particular planner. Um, I did put in a um, just cover because I feel like that helps with you know, not ruining these pages. But I did actually end up uh, ordering a neutral planner because I love the way that the neutral was. But to be honest, I kind of decided that neutral is not for me. And you guys are probably thinking like, what? <laughs> Emily, you're like super neutral. Yes, yes I am. However, I'm super neutral in my like regular daily life. However, in my planner is like the one place that I can be super colorful and more bold and loud and it doesn't cause me anxiety, like color in general, like lots of like, big colors really cause me legit anxiety. So that's why my home is very neutral, my wardrobe is very neutral, I'm very neutral. However, in here, I actually really enjoy it because it's kind of like my little outlet, if that makes sense. Anyway, here are these pages. This has where I track my menstrual cycle and paydays and then like work holidays. So, I mean, you could track whatever the heck you want to on there. Here, I actually just made this not too long ago. Um, I had one of these in my last planner too. And this is like kind of just like projects or things I'd like to do. So like I have my entryway, living room, half bath, garage, laundry, office, kitchen, dining room, loft, master bath, bedroom, and then I have an extra one. But just thought that, you know, this would be kind of cute to put in there. And then over here is my first July budget um, that I've done. I used to have a Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner and that only housed my budget and that was it. I love the idea of the deluxe monthly planner when I was actually tracking every single dollar that came in and came out, but I don't do that anymore. I do follow the Dave Ramsey plan and at the point that I was tracking everything, I was, you know, paying down debt, saving up my six month emergency and saving for a house. So like that was really nice to have like a tangible place to see everything, like the incoming and the outgoing. But now that I've already purchased the house, I'm in baby step four and six because I don't have kids, so I don't not doing college savings. So I just like an overview. That's just works super well for me. And I decided to do that in the sheet at the very front of the month. So anyways, um, if you guys want to see any of my budgeting, but if you all want to see any of my budgeting videos, I'll throw it up in a card for you guys. Um, but yeah, and then this is the first month. I just wrote down some things, but I never really, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this page. This is, this is my problem. And I know that some people have actually like taped these pages together. So it just flips to the month. I may or may not do that. I'm not sure. I mean, I might find a use for these two pages at some point. Um, but this is my month of July that's already happened. And then 
Speaking of planner piece. So for me, what has worked really well especially when you're first starting, is don't buy all the things. And I know that's so hard to do because I bought all the things and I ended up not using all the things. This is before I discovered that people had like dedicated planner Instagrams and people did plan with me's on YouTube and I did not know any of that yet. So I had already established my YouTube channel just a little bit, I had done a few videos and I decided as soon as I started or as soon as I got my first planner, that I was going to start planning videos and I did and I actually didn't do any talking at all I mean I said like hello and then I would just you know fast forward through it and then like show you all at the end and it was like very very decorative and I felt like everything needed to have a theme because that's the only stuff I kind of saw online um, it was very themey and it inevitably didn't end up working for me which really sucked but that's okay over the years I have established a love for two major sticker brands that have really worked for me. And the first one is Coffee Break Planner, which all of these little scallop boxes and then all of the scripty words are from her. And then I also am in love with Chrissy Ann Designs. I feel like the majority, well not the majority, at least half of the stickers in each shop really appeal to me and that just, I don't know, works well with my brain that I can support these two shops, buy the things I need, and I feel like it all kind of flows well together. I hope that makes sense. For me on a normal, like, weekly basis, usually my two or my go-to things are these scallop boxes because I usually will write in things that are happening. Um, and then these are also, which I absolutely love, that they are matte removable stickers. Um, so you can actually peel them up. So say I didn't, you know, edit that day, I can pull that up and it's just so easy. Um, I do obviously have other sticker shops too, but I kind of just sprinkle those in where they go. And I'm not super dedicated to one shop or another in that respect. I do like little icons, like this one is a one ton in a million, this one's once more with love, this little doctor guy is from Plan to Plan Sticker Co. Um, yeah, so I mean, I love like little things like that just to emphasize the event in the box. Also these little blobbies are super cute from Oh Hello Stationery. Like there's so many fun things to put in there to kind of like zhuzh up your planner if you like that. If you like super basic and all you want to do is just have different colored pens, like you go, you do your thing, you know? So yeah, that's kind of like my mentality, like walking through how I lay my stickers down and how I choose what I choose. Um, so this is like the week of July 4th, clearly, because this is July 4th right here. And then um, here is this week. Um, so yeah, but another thing I really wanted to talk about was that I know there are some people in the planner community that get not necessarily upset, but maybe like a little perturbed if other people copy their style. And I feel like copying or emulating is how people find their style. So I always take it as a compliment if someone's gonna tag me on Instagram or send me an email saying, hey, here's my first spread or here's a spread that I just did and I really emulated your style or I copied your style. What do you think or whatever? Like, I think that's amazing because that's how you find what works for you. One of my biggest style inspirations has been Jen Plans and I will leave her Instagram down below if you are interested. She also has a YouTube channel, which I will link for you guys. If you see her style, it's very different than this, but this is kind of how I came to this conclusion. She has a lot more white space than I do typically in her weeks and she does do some of the decorative icons But I definitely do a lot more and I did try out her style like exactly for the longest time And I just figured you know what? I love that style. It really works for me I like true times of you know I work and then I put my washi in and then you know at the end of the day I cut my washi and then I put in what's going on and what's happening. But for me, I wanted a little bit more decoration in mind. And some of you may see this and go, oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. I don't know how you're getting anything done. And some of you may see this and go, this is super boring. <laughs> so everyone has a different way of doing things, but finding that person or that account or several accounts either on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and just kind of using those as like, okay, well, I've never thought of doing it this way, but maybe I should try this and see how it works for me in my life. You know, Jen and I actually know each other. Um, we've met a few times now, but 
you know, she's a busy mom, she works outside the home, she is married and also has three kids and a dog. So her life is so different than mine, but I could still take inspiration from what she has done and what has worked well for her style. So I just kind of took her style and revamped it for myself because that's really at the end of the day what you have to do. You have to figure out what works for you and not necessarily worry about what everybody else thinks of your planner. Your planner is for you and no one else. I, however, really like to make mine pretty. I do have, you know, a channel online. However, I don't have to share this stuff if I don't want to. So, you know, I just really enjoy sharing it and I make it pretty because I want to make it pretty. You know, I'm not really doing anything for the camera any longer. I'm really doing it because I love it. So anyways, uh, this is another week that's all filled in. Um, I'm gonna flip a little bit more here and um, show you some other things that have really helped me. We're into August already, oh my gosh. So this is actually this week, um, this is today. And um, hopefully I'm gonna get this up next week. So. As I went through this week, so these are kind of like the Emily Lay colors, so I kind of did a little bit of a rainbow, and then over here is just kind of bleh, whatever. <laughs> but what I have done, and I've actually done this, this is how the conversation started with Ryan yesterday, is what I have done, and what I was explaining to him is that I went through the majority of the weeks for the next year, and just put in my work and anything else that I knew was happening. So like a birthday or like right here. Oh, I have a giveaway on Monday. I don't think this video is gonna be up by Monday, but you never know. Um, and I have like a girls night with my friends, Megan and Jess. And you know, like there's stuff in here and like my trash day, there's stuff in here that I already know that's gonna happen. So if I lay this down, it's so much easier for me to then like mentally throughout the week, come upstairs to my office and then like fill in the evenings or anything that needed to happen in the daytime or what's happening in the weekend or what's coming up. So that's really helpful for me to like pre-plan at least the things that I know. And even if say this, the, the day of the eighth, um, you know, I'm off work or something, I can lift this up and I can put in something else. It's not a problem. But my biggest challenge was just starting with a blank page and not even having like my work in there. And then it's like, gosh, now I have to think about what I want to do. I got to think about what theme I want to go with. And about a month ago, I ended up, I think it was actually the July 4th weekend. I just was super inspired and started just planning out my weeks. And it's just making my life so much easier because I don't have to think about it anymore. Um, so yeah, but then like here, I'm gonna be on a road trip with my mom, um, like the last half of this, but I am working over here. So yeah, it's just like, let's just put in the things. And then also like I have other things going on. So like I found out that the wild collab sale is gonna be the 22nd through the 25th. So I just kind of put a little sticky in here. Um, and then these little sticky notes are from Erin Condren. And then I have another planner meetup, which I haven't put in here yet. And um, yeah, I even put in like all my budgeting um, things and anything that I know is in here, like Labor Day, Patriot Day, um, I'll put in and then, you know, I'll just put in little page markers for the things that are kind of pending-ish. Um, like I'm gonna go to the state fair with my mom and all that good stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I just think like this is gonna work really well for me in the end that I don't really need to think anymore. <laughs> Oh, maybe that's the theme of this video. Like, I don't need to think about it anymore. Um, but I just really like the way that this feels. I'm putting in all my paydays. I'm typically putting in laundry. Clearly, if I don't necessarily do the laundry that day, I can still lift this stuff up and I can put it somewhere else without an issue. I still have some weeks that I don't have anything, which is totally fine. And, you know, I'm still consuming products. I'm still buying things because I can't help myself. But, you know, at that point I was like, you know, I'm not sure what I want to do for that week. So I just skipped it. Um, and then this one was actually blank until the other day. And I got my Simply Gilded box, the one with the moths. And um, this is the stardust washi that was in there and i'm like this is beautiful i love it um so yeah but i don't have i'm out of my little work stickers <laughs> and i haven't decided which scallop boxes i want to use for this color palette just yet but clearly i have until september to figure it out there's also a grilled cheese festival in minneapolis so i'm really excited about that plus there's gonna be wine so you know i want to go to that um but yeah but i like 
got like am going all the way into the end um so yeah there's like another blank one here oh this is a little bit funky um here is like a little spooky one for you know october and then into the next month um, I've only done this, but this is like the actual Halloween day. But yeah, so I mean, I've honestly put like my dog's monthly meds, all that kind of stuff. You know, like this is just like helping my mind work. And I hope that this might help one of, you know, hopefully one of you out there, maybe several of you, I don't know. But this is just really like working for me. And yes, I've already made the decisions and yes, I can't really use any new stuff, but that's why I left a few uh, weeks blank. So I think that'll work pretty well for me. And then like into December, I have, well, this is in December, but it's actually the week of Thanksgiving, but I have some of this written down. I don't know what I'm doing for Thanksgiving, probably, hopefully nothing, because that's, that's just my jam. Um, yeah, and this is like the first full week of December. Oh, also, I got a question from um, Ryan when I was, when, you know, we were flipping through this. He's like, what do these little things mean over here? And they're my paydays, that's what they mean. Um, you might not be able to see that one very well, but this one you can hopefully see. Um, but yeah, those are my paydays. So I just keep track of that on my little thing there. But yeah, you know, I don't have anything there. This is the week of Hanukkah, so I wanted to use lots of blues to celebrate. Um, and then the lights, and all that good stuff. This is the week of Christmas, which I think is so cute. And I used um, this kit, not a kit, but like a couple of sticker sheets from Wonton and a Million, which I thought were super cute. This washi is from Wonton and a Million. This washi is from Wonton and a Million. And then this little green band is signifying my coworker is off, but it's actually from one of the Erin Condren sticker books, I think from a long time ago, but it had the gold and it had the right green tone. And I was like, let's do it. So anyway, but yeah, I mean, I'm going all the way into everything for this. So this one's really cute, which I love. This one's actually my birthday week. So this is January 9th is my birthday. Um, yeah. And I, I'm also, I don't even think I brought this up yet, but I'm also trying to stay motivated with bringing my lunches to work. So I got these really cute little like lunch boxes and then like on my birthday, I'll probably go out, but whatever. So yeah, this is the week of Doyle's birthday. This is Doyle's birthday right there. It's also my brother's birthday. Um, so yeah, but you know, I just, I'm loving the way that this is working for my brain and you know, I hope that you guys get a little bit of inspiration from this as well. So cute. This is Valentine's, even though I don't have a Valentine, but that's all right. This is a Valentine's Day. And then into March, I've done a few things. Love the way this looks. It's like kind of more springy. And then we've got St. Patrick's Day week. So, I mean, I don't know. I just, I just really like the way this looks and I hope that you guys too do as well. Um, this one's like a galaxy theme, which I love this washi. It's like a sample that I had. And then, um, I don't know, I use this like kind of art deco-y uh, washi as well. So maybe I'm gonna just stop it there. There are more weeks that I have filled out, but once I get into May, I really haven't done anything because, you know, if I get new stuff, I wanna be able to use it. I just prep ahead and that's just been working really well for me and how this whole planner piece thing works for my brain. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below what has really worked for you to find your own planner piece or find your own planner style. I would really, really love to know. We are all different, we are all unique, but I feel like we all have the opportunity to take inspiration from each other and I feel like there is definitely room for all of us as well, whether it's on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, you know? I think everyone has a unique voice, even if your style is still growing and still moving forward. So anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, do all those things those YouTubers tell you to do, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you